Hello everyone and welcome back to my Senate election prediction videos where I take a look at the Senate races going on across America in 2024 and give my thoughts, analysis, and predictions on the race. And today we are looking at Missouri and a seat currently held by the Republican Party. And the incumbent senator is Senator Josh Hawley. Senator Hawley is serving in his first term in the United States Senate. In 2018, Senator Hawley was elected to the United States Senate with a margin of victory of just under 6%. In 2020, Donald Trump won the state of Missouri with a margin of victory of just over 15%. There is no doubt how Missouri will cast its ballots in the 2024 presidential election. Former President Trump will win the state of Missouri by a comfortable margin. Missouri used to be a reliable political bellwether. However, since 2008, it has moved to the right in a significant manner and no longer is a political bellwether for the nation. Um, it had a reputation uh, from 1904 till 2008 of being able to show who it was a reliable bellwether. Um, with one exception in 1956 when it voted for Adlai Stevenson. Other than that, it voted with the winner every time. And usually, its vote mirrored the nation's mood. Um, but that is no longer the case. Um, it is a reliably red state at the presidential level. Uh, it's becoming so at the congressional and senatorial level. Let's take a look at the two nominees. The Democratic nominee is Lucas Kuntz. Um, Mr. Kuntz is a retired U.S. Marine uh, who served in Iraq. Uh, Mr. Kuntz has sought political office before, running as a Democrat for the United States House of Representatives, and so he sought the Democratic nomination for the United States Senate in 2022. However, he lost that primary um, but many people uh, after that run expected him to run again, uh, and he did in 2024 uh, for the other United States Senate seat in Missouri. And uh, Mr. Kuntz has a very prolific uh, media profile. He appears often on cable news and has a significant online following uh, and produces uh, catchy uh, political ads that allow him to amass a uh, sizable campaign uh, war chest. The Republican nominee uh, is the incumbent Senator, Senator Josh Hawley. Uh, Senator Hawley, uh, prior to serving in the Senate, served two years as the Attorney General of Missouri. When he was elected to the Attorney General's office in 2016, he promised Missouri voters that it would not become a political stepping stone to higher office. Immediately upon taking office, though, Senator Attorney General Hawley started taking steps to run for the United States Senate in 2018. And Senator Hawley, in 2018, with the backing of then President Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell, unseated incumbent Senator Claire McCaskill um, and Hawley began his service in the United States Senate. Uh, Hawley uh, arrived with a reputation of being very conservative uh, and um, that was no my campaign stunt. He, he pursued a very conservative populist uh, agenda when he began his service in the Senate, uh, and he quickly emerged as a strident and ardent defender of then-President Trump. Um, and after the 2020 election, he became the first senator to, to announce that he would support House members who objected to the certification of election results. Um, and even when pressed on how futile his effort was, he doubled down on election denialism uh, and conspiracy theories about the election results. Um, and there's a famous picture of Senator Hawley walking to the Capitol um, on the morning of January 6th 
uh, with his fist up to uh, Trump supporters who would later storm the Capitol. Uh, there's also, though, uh, thanks to the January 6th committee, um, another image of Josh Hawley on that day uh, where he's sprinting down the hall uh, to make it to safety um, as the Trump supporters attacked uh, the Capitol. Um, Hawley is very uh, supportive of uh, measures that uh, prevent women from being able to access abortion care, uh, is against LGBTQ rights, uh, and is very hard right on the social issues. Uh, Senator Hawley, prior uh, to his service in the Senate and as Attorney General of Missouri, served as a law clerk to Chief Justice John Roberts, and that is where he met his current spouse and wife, a, who is a law professor, uh, and she advocates for conservative organizations seeking to overturn uh, Supreme Court cases. Uh, she was part of the group that led the effort to overturn uh, Roe versus Wade in the Dobbs decision. Um, Holly has made some interesting campaign uh, moves in the 2024 election, uh, even though uh, most polls uh, show this race uh, out of reach. Uh, he confronted uh, Mr. Kuntz in a very odd confrontation uh, at the Missouri State Fair. How did Missouri voters cast their ballots in the primary? Um, Missouri had many competitive elections uh, for multiple offices. The Senate was not one of them. Uh, but 61% of Missouri voters who cast ballots cast them for Republican candidates, and about 38% cast them for Democratic candidates. Uh, but Missouri Republicans had a lot of competitive races for their primaries, and that can help explain the significant uh, margin between the two. How do I think this race is going to turn out? There's no doubt that uh, Senator Hawley will be elected to a second term. As I mentioned, Missouri has moved very much to the right uh, in recent years, and Josh Hawley is going to win re-election. He may not win election with a big margin as Trump is going to win Missouri by, but he's going to win it by a comfortable margin. Um, and his moves since getting elected to the Senate have shown that he understands where Missouri voters are going. At one time, Josh Hawley was a very moderate Republican, uh, while a conservative Republican was more in the Bush mold, was more in the country club Rockefeller type. And I'm using Rockefeller as a more of a traditional Republican uh, mold. Hawley, uh, since getting elected to the Senate, understands where his party is and where his state is, and has adjusted uh, accordingly. Uh, and he will continue to serve in the Senate. Um, he's very young, and I believe that he has uh, the potential to serve many more terms. Uh, Missouri is a very Republican state at the moment, and it looks to be so for the foreseeable future.